Hey everyone, it's your buddy Crypto Profit back with another video. And today we are going to be jumping straight into internet computer price ICP. So right now we do see a $41.44 price with a 4.66% increase in the last 24 hours. We're looking very, very solid. Actually, the market as a whole is looking very, very solid. If we actually take a look at the market across the board, we're seeing a 4.85% increase. Bitcoin's very, very close to 40K. Ethereum pushing close to 2.3K. XRP up. 10.55% as well as so many other altcoins, like I said, doing very, very well. So let's jump back into ICP, seeing that 4.66% in the last 24 hours is looking very, very bullish for the future of ICP. Definity has been announcing quite a bit of things on Twitter. So we're going to be talking about all the most recent bullish and, uh, you know, kind of bearish news as well regarding ICP here in just a second. So we will also go over the price predictions for the end of the year and the end of 2021, or really the end of the bull market, I should say, not obviously the end of the year is the end of uh, 2021. So we will be going over both price predictions for you guys and talking about really where we could see ICP by the end of this uh, really year. And like I said, that bull market. So let's jump into the end of the week. We do see 45.25% of an increase in this week alone. So a massive increase across the board for ICP, continuing to push us back to closer to that $50 range that we did talk about being a possibility by the end of the month. We also see the one month being a 3.4% decrease. So still a massive decrease overall. Um, you know, we are making great recovery across the board from so many different altcoins, like I suggested. But, you know, ICP is one of those utility tokens that allows users to participate in and govern the internet computer blockchain network. The network aims to help developers create websites, enterprise IT systems, internet services, and DeFi applications by installing their code directly on the public internet. ICP can be staked or converted into cycles that can be used to power computation for dApps and traditional applications. So let's take a quick look at uh, some of the most recent stuff that really come out about ICP. So the first article we're going to look into is actually July 25th. So it's a little old, but it's three days ago, and it still is very, very relevant because the top five cryptocurrencies to still watch in this end of the week, we have BTC, ETH, ICP, AVE, and Luna. So ICP, obviously number three in there, right behind BTC and ETH, and there's obvious reasons as to why that would be. If we actually go down to the ICP USDT, it talks about internet computer dipped below the 2831 support on July 20th, but the bears could not capitalize on this weakness. This suggests that the bulls are accumulating at lower levels. So they talk a little bit more in detail on it, but I'm not going to jump too much into the detail on the uh, actual technical analysis there. We are going to jump straight into really some of the news regarding ICP and why ICP has had this massive push from that 2831 that we saw to uh, really continue on with the rest of the market. So decentralized messaging has been a pipe dream for decades. Now through the internet computer, real-time messaging is a possible on a blockchain. Open chat surpassed its 10,000 user limit and expanded it to 20,000. So you can actually claim your account here for free. And uh, it's crazy to see all this stuff taking place. Like I said, ICP continuing to grow. Utilization is continuing on. And uh, this ecosystem system I do believe is going to continue to grow as well as we see uh, plug wallet is a browser extension that allows you to access your ICP cycles and other tokens as well as log into internet computer apps with one click so jumping on to the next one we see the cycles faucet built in partnership with fleek HQ enables developers to immediately begin launching projects on the internet computer really access $100 worth of free cycles to begin deploying canister smart contracts to the network. And this was in response to just 96 hours since launch, 632 qualified developers have funneled through the cycles faucet. So that's a massive amount of developers jumping in, obviously funneling through. And we have seen, you know, kind of a lot of talk about ICP recently. Uh, still a lot of people excited about the future of ICP. We've seen a lot in the past that made a lot of people kind of worried about jumping in on this project. If we actually take a look at the last year, we all know about this huge manipulation that did take place. We saw a huge push from, you know, $107. Really, you know, if we look all the way back, you could go back to March 3rd, it was $42 about where we're at right now. And then we had a huge jump all the way up to $750 and then a massive dip or really dump all the way down to, you know, this previous that was like, you know, $30 on the dot. So just crazy to see ICP making a great recovery again. Hopefully we do get back to that $750. If we do, it will be a little while. It will not be in this bull market or this year, in my opinion. So jumping back to Definity Twitter, we want to take a look at the next one in line. We see introducing the Motoko Playground. So an IDE for developers to learn Motoko 
the native language for the internet computer blockchain, deploy Canister smart contracts directly within a browser without needing to download an SDK or set up a wallet. So this makes it very, very easy. So since developers don't need to set up their own development environment, this full in browser experience enables everyone and anyone to explore and learn Motoko while experimenting with the programming on the internet computer from anywhere. So like I said, the best part, Motoko Playground is open source. Community contributions are highly welcomed. So you can actually find the full sources here. We're not going to jump too much farther into that. But I just want to really kind of reiterate how important it is that Dfinity is out there and available so easily and accessible to so many people and developers. So it's just going to continue to be a big deal for, like I said, developers as they continue to want to grab and get into some of these bigger ecosystems and some of these platforms that give them really a great opportunity to make something great. So jumping into the next tweet, this one talks about this week, the internet computer surpassed 107 million blocks generated as the network scales to host more canister smart contracts and block count speaks to both the speed and capacity of the internet computer. So it's great to see this, like I said, continuing to put Push forward, continuing to grow, continuing to expand. I do want to talk, like I said, more about those price predictions now for the end of the year, obviously, and the end of that bull market part two. So hopefully we are out of that manipulation and FUD stage. I will say realistically, I don't expect us to be fully out of there until September, early September, maybe late September. But you know, realistically, we may have already crossed that barrier. We may have jumped the line and maybe we are on our way, fully on our way to a great recovery. It's definitely a possibility. We're starting to see whales accumulate whales sent to their wallets um, instead of, you know, keeping them on exchanges and uh, trying to trade. So it's great to see this all taking place. It does look very, very bullish in the market right now. Internet computer, obviously looking bullish along with it as we see that 4.66% increase in the last 24 hours. I think it's a very, very big possibility that we do see internet computer making its way closer to that all-time high by the end of the year. By the end of the year, though, we won't be at 750 I believe we'll be right around 100 to 150 dollars at the best uh, by the end of the bull market it depends obviously when that bull market begins and how long it lasts for but I do expect internet computer to push closer to 200 to 250 dollars by the end of the year so we'll definitely keep you guys up to date with price predictions with news regarding internet computer as well as so many other altcoins across the channel so if you guys have not already make sure to quickly subscribe to the channel turn notifications on and like the video i do want to jump over to my twitter because we don't talk about my twitter too much uh, if you guys would show some support subscribe to the channel and then also follow me on twitter if you have not already we're at 5,500 followers still trying to grow that um i actually talked about are you ready for the push up july 23rd and we actually talked about the uh you know the push really coming into play right around that range so if we go to the month span we are going to see that july 20th was the, really the bottom and we talked about the bottom before but july 23rd was you know that thirty two thousand dollar range that 32 you know i guess of july 22nd we saw thirty two thousand. july 23rd we still saw that 32,000. And right before, right when I tweeted, actually, we saw a massive increase to about 34, then a 38, and now obviously pushing closer to 40. So not saying I predicted it perfectly. You know, there's definitely times where, uh, you know, I expected it to fully have a great recovery phase in, you know, September. But I do think, you know, I knew that we were getting very, very close. And I think a lot of people are excited about the idea that we are back to that bull market. So do remember, guys, I always try to give you the best information as possible. Just remember as well that I am not a financial advisor, so always do your own research before investing in anything. Obviously, crypto is very volatile. Thank you guys again. I'll see you guys all in the next one.